Welcome to episode 8 of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. My name is Antacitor, and I am back in the Forest of Nile. Just teleported here, and we are gonna go and talk to him about something that I forgot. Oh, you're back, eh? How did it go with all Poggy? It too. Um, well, we didn't quite manage to get your forest back yet. Uh. But we did find out that the game is rigged all the way to the top. I knew it, the crafty wee roasters. Now all we need to do is get some proof that where there's funny business food with Lady Locke as well. You haven't noticed people from Goldpaw doing anything strange in the wounds lately, have you? Well, they were up to something over toward the old woods there. But to be honest, there were so many of the beggars dressed traipsing in and out, I could not keep track of it all. Yes. Maybe that's where they're making the dice. Hi. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh. Hold your own, says laddie. You'll not be getting anywhere near the old woods unless you can cast Quicken Growth. Mm? What's that? <laughs> it's a spell, you great bumbop. <laughs> You've never heard of it? Ah, keep these days. Here, I'll teach it to you. Oh, well. Teaching spells here is pretty easy. Learn the quick and growth spell. Oh, no. And what kind of spell is it exactly? Mm -hmm. Can you not figure it out from the name? It makes plants grow fast. Cast the wee beauty on a teeny tiny seed, and it'll be a tree as tall as a house before you can blink. The path's a pain to get to through down the way. Huh. If you sling the spell at a few toadstools, you'll find that going a good bit easier. What? Thanks for the tip, Twigtwig. Thank you so much, Niall. Yes, sir. Right, though. Looks like we're off to our old woods. You're a schooner. I would not sound so pleased if I were you. The monster's over that way, being a right pain in the neck lately. Oh, God, thank you. We get to fight. <laughs> we didn't fight anything last time. Whoops. Well. Could have gone local, but that worked too. On the teleportation thingy. to this way oh man the monsters are not even gonna bother us probably because <laughs> we're so freaking strong yep they're all blue so I guess there won't be any fighting unless it's a mini boss Wait, does it work on those things? I know there was a part in the main, uh, in the world map, sorry, uh, that, that you can grow things. But I don't really re remember where. It was near this area in the world map. That's something like, it said like, if you could, if this could grow, you could do it, or blah blah blah, something like that. You could like, get up the way. But I didn't have the spell yet, so I'm gonna try to find it after all of this. There we are. Yeah, I forgot that I can jump. Gosh, they get bigger just like that. Oh. Yes, we can go onwards. <clears throat> so many places to explore, though. Did I go the wrong way? Where am I even? No, I actually went the right way. So I bet there was like a chest or something. Which is fine. I feel like there's not gonna be anything good in chests. Well, I was right about this chest. Maybe, I don't know. These guys are not gonna bother us though. Another thing. Oh man, is it always gonna take this long to cast it? Well, I guess that one wasn't that long. Huh. Gilders, Gilders, Gilders! Hmm. Lump and lumber. Well, I'll take it. I don't think I have that. Let's 
place is kind of like a maze. I know this doesn't lead anywhere, but it might be another chest. And it wasn't. Okay. Did I pick up that chest? Did, isn't that where I came from? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I just didn't turn this way. Okay. Oh, look at that! A sword! But it's too weak compared to the other ones that I have. Right, I'm assuming we're going this way. Yeah, I forgot that I was super over level, so there was. There's just not gonna be any fighting. <laughs> I could use that thing, though, to, like, recover my. health and, uh. the other thing. I guess I'll save. I haven't saved in a long time, I don't think. Yeah, today's April 1st. I haven't saved since then. Since the 31st. Yesterday? Yeah. Okay. But the previous episode I did today also. Uh, April 1st. So. I did not save. Well, but there was autosave, so it's fine. Yeah, this looks like a dungeon kind of place, maybe. Hopefully. Inside there. Cool. Wow. They've been busy. Mm. So this is where they're making the trick dice. No. How shall we do this? Charjin shouting our heads off? Yeah. No, we can't draw attention to ourselves. We need to sleep in undetected and find out what they're doing. Huh? Hide yourselves. Some swabs are coming. Ah, ha! Huh. Why did they have to build it so far away? <laughs> <laughs> Fool! Any closer in the people of the city, would they surely discover it? <clears throat> they're grown. They're from Golpa. They must be. Oh, ah! I've made a fine idea all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I think I might be thinking what you're thinking. Huh? Are you gonna attack them and take their place? Yep. <sighs> well, good thing that they shrink on their own so that uh, Heaven can uh, use them. Guess I should have expected as much from a pair of Sky Pirates. Mm. Are you sure? Are you sure this will work? Oh. Only one way to find out, lad. We'll keep watch out of here. Off you go and sneak into the that uh, that there dice factory. Mm. Just don't be too long, all right? Yes. Guess we don't have much of ch much choice. Come on. Right. Tani and Bat two stay behind to keep watch. Guess we're going in. I wanted to like get what uh, the items that were outside, but whatever. I mean, most of the people are dog-like creatures, but I guess it's not suspicious to see uh, regular humans. Phew, I was sure he was going to see through our disguise. Hmm. Well, he didn't. Looks like this might just work. Alright, we need at least two forms of proof. The first is something trying... Wait, tying Pugnacious directly to the deception. Some kind of documentary evidence would be ideal. The next is evidence of how they're manipulating the dice. My guess is they're not using magic. Really? But how else could it be done? What? Oh, there are ways. We have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance where I'm from. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here was has come up with something similar. Yes? Alright, let's find the proof. Uh. Let's do it. This disguise should help us get close to the people who work here. Maybe we can pick up some clues. Alright, roll.
Roland. Let's go investigate. Hey, fellow fellas. I know you're all dog. Oh, no, there's humans. Okay, good. Because otherwise, I would have been like... Although, there aren't a lot of them. So, I don't know. Hmm? This? Oh, it's proposal suggesting a few improvements to our basic mm. dice design. We cannot go on making the same old thing forever. After all, we shouldn't be seeking out new ideas all the while. Shouldn't or should? You must excuse me, I'm rather busy at the moment. I must assemble all the necessary documents in order to process the factory accounts. Girl, sometimes I regret choosing to work in the accounting department, constantly hounded by everybody and never a word of thanks. Hmm. Huh. Goldpa has long been famous for its tricks and contraptions, you know. It is our job to take all this knowledge and use it to create ever more exciting ideas. And only we high officials of the realm are permitted the privilege of working with them. Such an honor, such a great honor. Yeah, okay. Whoa, whoa, come on. There we go. Wait, what? That's it? Oh, there are more humans here. Come on, talk to me. How many dice have you made today, friend? I am feeling specially productive. I think I might even break my daily record. Look at this door here. This looks suspicious. Come on, I saw that you... <coughs> Maybe I could have gotten the... Um... No. It's a workbench used to make trick dice. There's nothing particularly special about it. Mm. Okay. A remote device. Roland, look! This must be it. And based on all this stuff, it looks like what I thought. A remote control for ladies' lock dice. It's just like you said. Uh, a luck, a lucky guess. Anyhow, Pugnacious have must have one of this. So this is how he keeps the taxes so high, and how he stole Niles Forest from him. It sure seems that way. And it's also how we're going to make him pay. Hmm. We could really use some proof connecting Pugnation to this place. Yes? Alright, let's look around a little more. It was probably, like... On the other room. It's probably the book. Basically, the accounts. I thought this place would be bigger, but you know what? It's fine that it's this small. I guess not, I can't really... Oh, there we go. A set of sign instructions. <laughs> Looks at, look at this! It was in the drawer! That's Pugnacious' signature at the bottom. How do you know? How, mm. When have you ever seen it? Or does it say Pugnacious, I guess? It looks like instructions on what he wants them to build. I'm guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Luckily for us, somebody didn't do their job. <laughs> well, that's certainly undeniable proof. Wonderful. And convenient for us. Yes. That's everything we need. Come on. Let's get out of here. But someone's gonna find us. No? Okay. I mean, something's gonna happen outside, I think. Moss Monument. Unauthorized intruders detected. Initiating attack sequence. Tani. Batu. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like we've got rumbled. What's this horrible thing doing here anyway? I don't like our chances, Gerli. Gah, they're trapped. Then we have to help them. Can we keep the outfits now? We'll find out. But we get to fight something, so that's good. Mossy Monument, the architectural monstrosity. Now we can give the uh, the uh, Whoa, bro! Your rock? Look how much damage we're making. We're doing. Oh yeah, get out of here! Boom! You didn't stand a chance. Watery barrage bow. It's probably not even that good. Phew! I thought we goose was cooked there for a second. 
Looks like the people in the factory didn't notice the racket either. We got lucky there. Oh. Well, did you find your precious proof? <laughs> yes, we found a device that Nations uses to control the dice movement. Oh. Ah, that's the stuff, lad. Now we can hang the swindling dog out to dry. Ah. We sure can. With these things. With this thing to help us, we'll be able to expose him for the fraud he is. Evan, I need you to be sure you're okay with what we're about to do. We'll be interfering directly in another country's affairs. If it doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they go really badly, you could be making an enemy of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Of course. Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. We cannot stand by and let it happen. <coughs> We have to give the citizens of Golpo their country back. Yeah. That's the spirit, Evan lad. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let him walk all over them. <laughs> you grow more kingly by the day, your majesty. Yes. You really are starting to sound like a king, you know that? Alright, our leader has set out his policy. Ico. And now it's time to implement it. But first we gotta... Get this. I actually didn't see this before, so let's see if we can get it. A voice can be heard coming from the Higgled Little Stone. Woman, blah blah blah, what do you want? I know he's talking about the mushrooms in it, the sticky, slimy, gunky ones. Well, gunk, so. Yeah. Look at that guy still walking into the stone. You try offering a bunch of gunk shrooms. Yep, of course. What are you? Oh, you're a different color. The higgledy heating inside the stone comes flying out. Mutton Bane, the Moshi, has decided to join you on your adventure. Yes, got another one. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna check him out a little bit. I just wanna make sure we got <coughs> everything. And just the chest. Go and accuse Master Pugnacious of cheating, okay? You obtain a lead sorcerer's ring. Alright. Uh I guess we can take a look at the ring. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Super weak. Oh wait, the party changed though. Um. Yeah. Bring back Tanny. Yep. And let's take a look at this guys. Let's see. Who should we replace? This one heals me. Uh, I have two cowardlies, though. This one heals me. This is another cannon. I guess we'll take a look at the other one. He's careful. I would have two carefuls. Uh, will occasionally create more higgledies when attacked by them. Hmm, slightly decreases the enemy's physical defense, yeah. A water spring cannon appears and it's used to bless. Okay, so it, this one makes a cannon also. Okay, yeah. We'll replace them with that one. We have two cannons. I forgot how to level them up though. The Higgledies. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Alright. Um. I guess. I'll teleport to the world to the, to the world map because I want to see if I can find that uh, thing that I was talking about where you can uh, grow the mushrooms see if it takes me somewhere yeah it was here it was here but I don't know if there's gonna be anything good in there up there Still weak enemies. Is this a place to go into? Nope. So there's a cave there. I guess I gotta go all the way around. Grim Chilla. Guess I should get whatever this is. Eh, I won't go for that one. Maybe there's gonna be like a strong enemies that you're gonna you're supposed to be like a higher level, but we're so high up in our levels that we might be able to do this. Whatever it is. Or maybe there's just another Higgledy. Uh, 
Well, there's some enemies and people. Whoop. Where are you? Oh. The Grimichillas in this cave really are ever so docile. I doubt they harm a fly. Be gentle with them, won't you? Nah, I'm gonna oh. kill them all. Yeah, you told oh. me. Wait, what? You're not... Oh. What? You don't want me to... Oh. Yeah, I, I got it. I won't do anything. Well, I guess we can't go there. Alright, let's go back to Gold Paw. Fortune Square. Are we gonna fight the Mandarin? Probably not. Hope so, though. I want to know how to freaking level up the Higgledies. I know they told us at the beginning, but I forgot. We're back! Oh, Puck Nations! Got some info that's gonna mess you up. Ah, you again! And did Lady Luck provide evidence of the dastardly machinations of which you imagine us guilty? Hi. Master Pugnacious, you have deceived Niall and your own people, the very people you're supposed to serve. More wild accusations, and where is your proof, hmm? Did you find evidence of trickery? Some ingenious device hidden somewhere inside Lady Luck, perhaps? Hmm. Come on, you know we're on to you. Why not drop the act? Hi. There is no act to drop. I am innocent, and the and as the mistress of fortune can sell with a test. No. Will she now? Huh? That's not such a bad idea. I hear she's the one who passes judgment on legal matters around here. How does a trial sound? Oh. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a very fine idea indeed. Yes, this is the way of Goldpa. All matters of state, be they legal, political, or otherwise, are decided by the role of the sacred dice. And as a ruler of this. Great nation, I am more than willing to submit myself to the judgment of Lady Luck. But know that if I am found innocent, I shall treat your attempts of sedition with uh, the gravity they deserve. You will be punished for crimes against the state. Do you accept the terms? Hi. We do. Huh. Then, oh man, I can't do his voice. <clears throat> then we'll be, we will begin the preparations right away. Come to the square at the appointed time. Okay, do we have to wait or will will you just teleport us there? <laughs> Alright, time for the main event. Yeah, okay, next yes. time. I'll leave this to you, if you don't mind, Roland. Ah. Sure, I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, they are going to make us walk there though. Because they saved, okay, smart. Oh, you're saving twice? Alright. The preparations are complete. The trial can get underway as soon as you have confirmed that you are ready. Well, shall we begin? Yeah? Sir. Very well. If you would, please stay your place. It says... Or place, I don't remember. Oh, he even has a suit on? Where did... Oh, he came with the suit. And he just carries it around? Hmm. Oh, they have the magical thingy where they can store things, so that makes sense. I hereby convene the trial by fortune of Master Pugnacious Grand High Roller of Gulpa. Being the defendant, his eminence will be unable to preside over this hearing. As such, it falls to me to discharge his duties. I hope you will forgive my doubtless clumsy efforts in this most unfamiliar role. A trial is underway. Mm -hmm. And with a Grand High Roller in the dock, no less? Mm -hmm. What in the world can have happened? Mm -hmm. Um, why are you dressed like that, Roland? <laughs> Because this is a court of law. Sir! The defendant, Master Pugnacious Grand High Roller of Gulpa, bows his head before Lady Locke and submits to her judgment in this matter. He stands accused of dereliction of duty, specifically the knowing deception of his people. If the prosecution would like to begin by making its case. Oi. I intend to prove to this court that Master Pugnacious did knowingly and willingly, with the aid of a network of his most trusted retainers, defraud the very people with whose care he is entrusted. 
Further, I will show that he distributed devices among his accomplices which were used to carry out deception on a grand scale through the manipulation of dire swirls. I do not doubt that you have found evidence of some trifling sh chicanery among low-level officials, but to allege that this administration as a whole is complacent in such behavior is preposterous. I do not, have not, and will never engage in a dishonest practice of any kind, and to accuse me of such is to defame my character and call my good name into question. I wonder if he's the one being manipulated by Mandarin, and he, like, honestly has no idea of what had happened. <laughs> Perhaps you will permit those prevent. Wait, what? Perhaps you will permit those present to withhold judgment on the matter of your innocence until I have presented my proof. Roland also has signed instructions as proof. But what is the meaning of this? No. I think you know very well. After all, this document was written by you, was it not? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the prosecution's key exhibit, written instructions of the assembly of manipulated, manipulable dice, clearly signed by Master Pugnacious. Does the accused have anything to say in his defense? Only that my prior outburst was merely an expression of shock at the braceness of his sh sh shameless act. I had never seen this document in my life. To stoop to the fabrication of evidence is a pitiful tactic indeed. It is forgery, plain and simple. Oh. Why don't we let Lady Locke be the judge of that? Hey. By all means. Okay, maybe he is. Sir. He knows. It means it seems that both sides are satisfied to entrust judgment on this matter to the mistress of fortune. May the die roll stand as the undisputed world of the truth. Lady Locke grant us an even number if this evidence is be false. If it be otherwise, let the number be odd. Yes. Time to show the people of Golpa just how badly they've been misled. Oh, there he goes. だからその証拠は偽物です。さすが、サイコロ様は分かっていらっしゃる。今だ。よっしゃ。任しとけ。何？どういうことだ？サイコロがおかしいぞ。もう一つ。あなたに訴えがある。サイコロ様でもイカ様をしている件だ。このリモコンでね。ガッチャ。But this is... Ah. By the use of the remote control, the outcome of Lady Locke's dice rolls can be readily manipulated. The prosecution was able to visit the place where these devices are manufactured and to, produce, um, to procure one for its own purposes, namely the demonstration of this fraud. Hi. Master Pugnacious deliberately kept the taxes high and stole Niles Forest from him, and all using this horrible trick. Master Pugnacious. Mm. Can this really be true? <gasps> Shit, deceiver! Mm. Shame on you, you are the Grand High Roller. Boy. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Uh-oh. All that I did, I did for gold, Pa. I had to make my nation rich, richer than any other. It was the only way. The bond with his people is weakening. <laughs> Soon it will be time. Ooh. So you work for the bad guys, don't you? What is that? Shigoshin, Uldera-kun. That's it. 
ウルデラコンが町に現れるなどどうしたというのだロクメギ先生術長貴様は王としてふさわしくないとみなされた全ては計画どおり新玉戦をいただくぞ Wait, wasn't this guy in the first game? Fighting him because I want to fight him. I'm itching for a fight. Did he teleport us somewhere or did he really just burn the whole freaking city? Long Fang, Butcher, Baker, Kingsmaker. Wait, you're a baker? What do you bake? <gasps> uh, where are we? Oh It's an interdimensional dimension and it. And if we don't do something, it'll lead up this whole kingdom. What? Then we have to stop Longfang. You're not wrong there, my boy. Come on, let's knock some sense back into World Bite, shall we? Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah, surely. That there ain't just a kingmaker, this a kingmaker done Dulali. A blessed realm wrecker. Don't be like that, Mon. Where there's will, there's a way. He's lost his marbles, ain't it? Which means he can't keep a lead on all that power. And what happens to power you can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out of you. And the places where it comes flying out are exactly the right places to wallop. Hit them where it hurts and you'll hurt them good and proper. Oh, and don't worry about knowing where these special spots are. Thanks to your bond with your truly, you'll be able to spot them, no problem. Okay, good. The... whoa, okay. Realm wreckers are kingmakers that have lost control of their enormous powers and run wild as a result. This power escapes from them in bright, glowing bursts. Realm wreckers, I like that name. Uh, the points from which this energy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attack, so if you focus your assault on them, you'll deal lots more, a lot more damage. Okay. I feel like we'll be okay, though. Can I fall in lava? No. Whoa! High makers are mysterious entities that have absorbed the power of king makers, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them gather together. They're born from items into which a king maker has instilled its power, so if you smash up anything a king maker creates, you might just find one. When enough of them have appeared, a gold circle will surround them and they'll beckon you over the press X and call. On their always impressive assistance. <laughs> yeah, they're destroying him though. But I want to see if I can get one of this. This must be the last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's done. We didn't really need to do that. We could have destroyed him. But I wanted to see that. But it was just a fireproof thingy. This, this here's the square, ain't it? <laughs> Phew, we're back. <clears throat> I suppose that means Longfang really has calmed down, for now at least. Mm. Guess we'd better tie up some loose ends, huh? Mm. 
I have done the unforgivable. My desire to leave my kingdom out of poverty became an all-consuming greed. The weakness made me vulnerable, and he exploited it. Who was he? The one who stole your king's bond. He came to me some months ago. He promised secret knowledge, knowledge of ways in which our nation might be made yet greater. And in return, he sought hype office. It was he who suggested that the dice be manipulated, who gave me the means by which it might be done. <sighs> when did I fall under his spell, and how? How could I have allowed such a thing to happen? No. We managed to calm your kingmakers now down. Uh, but without your king's bond, will you? Uh, will things be here? Here be okay? You have bought us a little time. He will sleep a while yet. <laughs> but in time, he will reawaken. And in the absence of the bond, he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. But why, Curtis Kaylee Pate? There ain't a jot of rhyme or reason to such wanton savagery. Not now, shh. Hi. Master Pugnations, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond, will you help us? Forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself properly. I am Evan Pettigwisker of the House of Tildrum. I have formed a pact with the Kingsmaker of the Cradle of Light and mean to found a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? So that's what I sense in you. It was plain to me from the first that you were... Wait, from the first that you were no ordinary child. But what is it that you propose? I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that nobody else has to lose what's most important to them, and I want you to help me. Hi! I will do all I, I will do all that I can, of course. I fear that he who stole my king's bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. This being so, we must stand together with our brother nations, or lose all that is most dear to us. With this in mind, I mean to return Niles Forest to him, indeed. I mean to return all that I stole. So that's that must be the same guy who manipulated the Rat King that stole the kingdom from Evan. Word of my decision has been sent to Nile already, of course. Wow, okay. Really? Thank you so much, Master Pugnacious. Goldpaw will rise again, and its people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. Well, thank you so much. Alright. Got more posts here. I'm still finding it difficult to accept that I have just seen. Blah 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 blah. What? A part of the ciders? Okay. And what was this one? <laughs> nice picture. Let me just take pictures before I start running for my life. <laughs> Alright, then that's gonna do for this episode then. Um, we managed to kick that uh, Kingsmaker ass because we were so freaking overleveled, which is fine. I like that. I like to be overleveled and be so powerful. Uh, so uh, on the next one, we're going to go back to Nile and see what uh, s uh, what we can do next. I'm assuming he's going to allow us to use the, the, um, the trees to start building our village, I guess. But we'll find out. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video. <laughs> be sure to like the video if you like it. And to subscribe for more. Thanks again.